Uh, I think today's vote is very important for the future of Division I because it keeps us all together, all 340 institutions working on behalf of student athletes, keeping a competition uh, open to all, keeping the revenue distribution. Uh, but at the same time, allowing uh, a certain degrees of freedom or autonomy to high resource conferences. And that's very important in terms of their support for student athletes. So I think it's wonderful that Division I stays intact and can move forward. Well, we, we are all uh, university presidents. Uh, our student athletes uh, ultimately espouse uh, what we call the, the Olympic model or the collegiate model. I think it would have been uh, disappointing uh, to have uh, some universities uh, leave uh, Division I. And so I think we, it's important to know that this isn't a what I might call a jailbreak. Uh, it's keeping the division together. Uh, we have a lot more in common uh, with the uh, other, other schools uh, outside of, of, of the high, higher uh, resource conferences. So we want to stay together and continue to debate and improve the system. There is a, a variety of reactions uh, to the, uh, the plan. Um, we are a very heterogeneous uh, group. Uh, we have um, vastly different resources and complexities in our programs. Um, but overall, there's a sense that um, we, uh, a as a, a, a body, uh, need to be able to be more nimble, uh, engage our athletic directors more in our decision making uh, and keep our presidents engaged and I think this structure does all of that and as people learn more about uh, what uh, is part of this new governance structure they're embracing it. One great thing is that student athletes will be part of the governance structure uh, and will be on the council and I think the whole redesign is to make the board more strategic with the goal of helping student athletes. I think we have to implement this. It will be done by the January convention, and I think it will involve uh, a lot of work. The, the, the setting up a new structure means uh, getting the right people in place, and so finding the presidents, the athletic directors, the other people who will be involved in the, in the board and the council is the next big step.